Here's a quick tip on how to keep your solder sucker sucking like it was when it was new, because mine's not sucking as well as it did, and that's no good. The tip for keeping your solder sucker in uh, prime condition, you know, because it really sucks when your solder sucker doesn't suck. So, normally, you want to try to keep this with as much vacuum as you can. If it starts doing that, when you put your finger over the tip, like this one is starting to, you're losing suction. So to get that suction back, open the unit up. We're going to clean out this area here where all the solder accumulates. And we're going to grease it with some new grease. Same as in the tip, you got to keep the tip clean as well. But we want to keep this barrel here as clean as possible. Look at all this lead that I'm getting on my fingers now. Yummy. We're going to lubricate that with some... I'm just going to use my lithium grease. That does a great job. We'll just take a bit of lithium grease and put it down into the barrel here. That'll restore the seal for the piston and the o-ring. At least it should. It should restore the seal. See how slow that goes up now? You notice that? That's what you want. If it does that, when, you, when you're blocking the end, if it does that, that's no good. You want it to return up relatively slow. So clean out the uh, cylinder and the piston for your solder tool and you'll keep it giving you maximum performance maximum suction that would be a good ad for for Dyson right our vacuum suck well here solder pult or the uh, the clone our our tools suck <laughs>